Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from UnkertEducation.com here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install PHP version 8.2 on a Chromebook. But first, if you like videos like this where I show you how to install and set up software on Chromebooks and Windows, then make sure to subscribe. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get started. The first thing we need to do is set up the Linux development environment. So I'm going to go over to my launcher here and click on the launcher and then I'm going to search for my settings. Once I find the, the link to my settings, I'll click on that and open up my settings. And on the left here, I have a bunch of tabs. I'm going to go down to the advanced tab and click to expand that. Once that expands, I'll see this tab developers. I'll click on that. And then I have this Linux development environment here. I'll click turn on and then next. And it's going to give me a username based off my email. I think this is the only time you can change your username, so if you really don't like it, you might want to change it now. The disk size can be changed at any later point, so I'm just going to keep that one as is, and my username is fine. I'm going to keep that as is, and I'm just going to click install, and I'm going to let that go ahead and install. That'll take a few minutes. I'll come on back once that's done. Okay, once the Linux development environment is installed, a terminal will pop up. I can close the settings now, and I'm going to maximize this terminal so you can see what I'm doing and increase the font size. I'm going to make sure everything is up to date by typing sudo apt update and then two ampersands for and and then sudo apt upgrade with a dash y flag so I don't have to answer yes to the additional space. I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to let that run. That'll take a few minutes so I'll come on back once that's done. Okay, once we've installed Linux and made sure everything's up to date, we can now run some commands to install PHP 8.2. I'm going to leave these in the description because there is a lot to remember here. Um, but yeah, so let's get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type sudo apt install ls, lsb dash release and then a space and then apt transport https space ca dash certificate a space software dash properties dash common and then I'm going to do a dash y flag so I don't have to answer yes to the additional space and oh, I already typed something wrong so that that's something that could happen it's ca certificates okay so that's already at the newest version, so it's going to go ahead and install that stuff. I'll come on back once that's done. Okay, once that's run through, let's just clear everything out here, and now we have to run some more commands. So we're going to type sudo wget wget uh, dash o uh, capital O there slash etc slash app slash trusted dot gpg dot d now this is getting the repo uh, the repository gpg key uh, and then php dot gpg and then we have to type https colon forward slash forward slash packages dot surrey dot org forward slash php forward slash apt apt dot uh, gpg and hit enter Okay, um, now we're going to add this to the sources list and we're going to type, let's, let's clear this out so we get this stuff. Uh, what we're going to type is sudo sh dash c and then a single quote echo, then double quotes deb space https colon forward slash forward slash packages dot surrey dot org slash php then a dollar sign lsb underscore release dash sc close the parentheses main close the single quotes we'll have a greater than a symbol slash etc slash apt slash sources dot list slash d slash Oh, sorry, dot D slash PHP dot list, and then close the hyphen. Okay. 
All right, so now we wanna make sure everything's up to date. So we're gonna type sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. And I'm gonna do a dash y flag on that. Okay, um, now we can install PHP 8.2. So to do that, we'll type sudo apt install PHP 8.2, hit enter. It's gonna ask us to take the additional 29.7 megabytes. I'm gonna say yes, hit enter. Okay, once that's all done, let's clear everything out and we'll do PHP hyphen V. And we see we have PHP version 8.2.8. Uh, so yeah, um, if you just do something like sudo apt install PHP for Debian 11 at the time this recording, you're gonna get PHP 7.4. So this will help you get the most modern version of PHP at the time of this recording. Uh, if you do find this video is helpful to you, uh, please give it a like as it'll help the video out a lot. Thank you.